um, just like anyone else, I would um, encourage college students to um, think about, hmm, what is it that my body is telling me that I need? Sometimes I think it's more about our society shifting and saying, no, you need to, you know, do this, 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 kind of that culture of busyness that takes people away from being able to nourish themselves with self-care. Self-care is just taking some time out of your day to think about yourself because we spend so much time thinking about others and how we can impress them or how we can care for them instead of ourselves. I feel like this semester I haven't been doing like as much self-care because I used to be going to like the gym a lot and I'd probably like eat healthier um, and I would do like face masks more but I just haven't like gone into that this semester. I practice self-care more when I'm at home than I do here, um, just because I have more time and more space and more stuff. Um, so I need to just try and create more time to practice self-care here, but when I do practice it, I try to take showers and just relax. I'm gonna try to start going to the gym more and like having a better like diet that like allows me to like eat three times a day and eat more healthier foods. I, mean, I am a big believer that the body will tell us Sometimes though, we're conditioned to not listen to the body. And so even if the body is telling us, then we still don't listen. And so sometimes um, what we might experience worsens over time. So if I'm studying for a really long period of time and my brain is just cluttered with information, it's about taking that 20 to 30 minutes for myself and take a shower, watch something on Netflix, just go on my phone, paint my nails, just do something for myself and then resume my studying. Well, hopefully I'll be actually like working out and like trying to like go on like more walks and like kind of like free my <laughs> thoughts and so I'm not like clumped into this room all day. Um, but that usually helps me like de-stress when I'm taking finals and stuff. The science is showing that whether it's with animals or other human beings and sometimes even with nature, basically any living being, our nervous systems or our uh, livelihood um, connects and so it can be really calming just to have that presence of another living being around us and sometimes for people they notice that walking in a forest being amongst trees and you know sometimes birds or animals other things um, sometimes sitting next to Truman I will notice you know if I'm feeling rushed or um, like my breathing is picking up or my heart rate is picking up and I'm just sitting next to him I can notice that it slows down in part because his is and so I think that's just um, speaking to some of the ways that with living beings we sync up and really can support each other in that way.